Rosalind, the mother, was uh, always a very caring, loving individual. Uh, very much wanted nothing but the best for her boys and worked tirelessly to do that as a mother at home and as a working professional. I think what a lot of people don't know about our mom is that uh, you know, she was a stay-at-home mom for pretty much the first, uh, you know, I'd say 15 years or so of our, my parents' marriage and then uh, our young lives. And she went back to work at 40 and went to a small hotel in uh, Laguna called the Hotel uh, San Martin, where she ran her uh, marketing there. And uh, her career really blossomed from that point too. But she always had a really good balance of uh, being the mom and the, the career businesswoman as well. And as a wife, uh, there was never any white spots in our calendar. There was always something going on that involved the boys or the profession, uh, the community. There was always something going on. There was a lot of energy there that uh, she was she was quite a dynamite. Or in the hospitality business, you were really in the customer service business. And I think one of the points she tried to drive home was whether you are dealing with a customer in a restaurant or a visitor at a hotel. Um, the impression you make with that individual is an impression that is uh, put upon the entire city of Newport Beach. She had a passion for the city and she thought she was the luckiest person in the world to be able to carry Newport Beach out to the rest of the world to, to show them what a great city we have and what great hospitality industry looks like here in the city. Her idea was, well, if we're going to compete with San Diego, if we're going to compete with LA, if we're going to compete with Miami or whatever that have all the same natural things that we have, we have to have really good service. We have to have really good waiters. We have to have really good staff people in the hotels that do the little things that bring people in. And I think the award really embodies her work ethic for the attention to detail and uh, focusing on the little things that all add up to big things, especially in the hospitality industry. Like in any situation, uh, when a woman or anybody gets diagnosed with any kind of cancer, it's a, it's a, a shock and it's very scary. Uh, but her position from day one is, you know, this is extremely unfortunate and it's upsetting and I'm angry about it, but I'm going to move forward and I'm going to beat it and I'm not going to let it alter my life in any way. I think she looked at it like it was just another battle, just like anything, any challenge she had in business or anything else. It was just roll up your sleeves and tackle it head on and that's what she did for a, a very, very valiant fight for four years. Certainly she was the, the pioneer of Newport Company and laid the foundation but I know without question, I think we're all three saying it, that Gary and his team have taken it to a whole new level. And that's what Roz would have wanted. Each year, we go through the process of reviewing the candidates for the award. And every time you read through the various submittals and you see many times the same work ethic, determination, uh, and drive that Rosalind had. And so each year, we kind of get reminded of of who she was and who she always will be remembered as. When we think about you know the recipient of this award and how we go about trying to make sure that it's someone that embodies all the qualities that uh, our mother had, I would say that it's it's work ethic, it's um, longevity too, somebody that spent a long time in a position and become better and better at it over time, and um, you know, dedication. I think when we when we approach this um, with all the, the many submittals for this award. Uh, we looked to commitment to the team and the staff which this individual is involved with. We looked to the dedication to the overall service industry itself. And I think most importantly, we look for passion for what they do and they love it. She's an amazing person dealing with guests and customers. Uh, she goes above and beyond to help people to get what they want. In 25 years, I don't believe she's ever been late and she comes in early in the morning, uh, gets everything going and well, you'll never see her have a bad day. If she's having a bad day, you won't know it. She uh, makes everybody's day. Uh, whether it's guests, whether it's employees, she makes everybody's day. She can be really funny. Um, she's very hip for her age. Uh, oh, she's going to kill me for saying that. I think uh, she makes people around her feel um, important. The best words to describe her are friendly, courteous, and creative. Caring, 
fun, loving, caring, gentle, kind. She uh, brings that same attitude that Rosalind brought to uh, Newport Beach uh, Visitors Bureau many years ago. Um, you know, that same outgoing uh, personality um, and caring for the people who are coming here to visit Newport. Congratulations for winning this award. Nobody can represent us better. I'm so happy that you're winning this award. It couldn't have gone to anybody better. I love you, bottom of my heart. I think you know that every single day. Our family is extremely pleased for this year's recipient as she embodies many of the characteristics that define Rosalind, the dedication, the loyalty, the love, and even to the point where her request was to be buried overlooking Newport Beach. We can see the room which we were married in from her gravesite. And for that, we know she's looking over all of us and you will carry, this year's recipient will carry on that tradition and will pass along hopefully to many, many more as years to come.